Uh, let's get the latest on the situation with Anthony Albanese and his meeting with China. He's met China's second in command, Premier Li Keqiang, uh, on the sidelines of the East Asia Summit in Jakarta. Political reporter Olivia Kaisley is travelling with the PM and joins me now. So, Olivia, after months of speculation, a Beijing trip is now locked in. Well, both Premier Li and Anthony Albanese have confirmed that the Prime Minister will visit Beijing by the end of this year. This trip has obviously been on the cards for a while. Now, Tom, and a date isn't locked in just yet, but it does signify a real thawing in the relationship between the two countries. We heard pretty positive language from both leaders who were meeting for the first time today. We also heard from Premier Li some reassurances, really, when it comes to the economic situation in China at the moment. One of the key issues that Anthony Albanese was pushing was the $2.5 billion worth of trade sanctions that are still slapped on some Australian products such as lobster and wine. Here he was earlier. It is in the interest of China to receive that barley and for it to go into its products. Similarly, it's in Australian wine producers' interest to export wine, but it's also in China's interest to receive it. We also saw Anthony Albanese advocating for the release of five Australians detained indefinitely in China. The most well publicised of those, of course, are Chang Lei and Yang Hengjun. But a question mark hangs over the other three Australians the Prime Minister was referring to. The view I think that Australians have uh, that I conveyed, that Australians are very much conscious of this case, that they want to see Chang Lei reunited uh, with her children.